In this podcast episode, Dr. Rena Malik, a board-cert certified urologist, pelvic surgeon, and sexual health expert, discusses various aspects of sexual health, emphasizing that sexual health is an integral part of overall health and well-being. Dr. Malik highlights the importance of communication, exploration, and playfulness in sexual relationships. She debunks common misconceptions about sex perpetuated by media and emphasized the need for individuals to focus on their own satisfaction rather than comparing themselves to others. Dr. Malik addresses the common concern of whether one is having enough sex. She explains that the average American has sex about 52 times a year, with variations based on age. While there is no set benchmark for sexual frequency, the key is for both partners to be satisfied with the amount of sex they are having. She emphasizes that quality is more important than quantity and encouraged open communication between partners to ensure mutual satisfaction. The duration of sex is also discussed, with Dr. Malik explaining that the average time for penetrative sex is around 5.7 minutes. She highlights the importance of foreplay and exploring different types of sexual activities beyond penetrative sex. She emphasizes that the journey and exploration are essential components of a fulfilling sexual experience. Regarding orgasms, Dr. Malik addresses the misconception that 10% of women are physically unable to orgasm. She explains that this statistic may be due to a lack of adequate stimulation rather than physical inability. She highlights the importance of communication and focusing on the encounter to increase the chances of having an orgasm. She also discusses the different types of orgasms, including clitoral, vaginal, and cervical orgasms, and the role of clitoral, vaginal, and cervical stimulation in achieving orgasm. In terms of enhancing the sexual experience, Dr. Malik recommends focusing on being present and communicating with your partner. She emphasizes the importance of guiding your partner and being open about your preferences to ensure a pleasurable experience. She encourages individuals to prioritize the encounter and avoid distractions to fully enjoy the moment. Dr. Malik delves into the differences in studying male and female anatomy, pointing out that historically, male genitalia have been more extensively studied than female genitalia. She highlights the lack of focus on female pleasure and the clitoris, which is solely dedicated to pleasure. Recent studies have revealed that the clitoris has over 10,000 nerve endings, challenging previous assumptions. Dr. Malik emphasizes the societal view of women's pleasure and the need to prioritize female pleasure in discussions about sexual health. She also explains how the vagina expands during sex to accommodate penetration. She encourages individuals to familiarize themselves with their own bodies by using a mirror to observe their genitalia. The conversation shifts to squirting and ejaculation, two distinct phenomena. Dr. Malik explains that squirting involves a large volume of fluid gushing from the urethra during arousal, while ejaculation is a smaller, thicker fluid from the same area. She clarifies that squirting is not the same as urination and discusses the origin of the fluids from the skein's glands. As a menopause-certified practitioner, Dr. Malik highlights the significant changes in the body during menopause, such as decreased estrogen levels leading to vaginal dryness and tissue changes. She stresses the importance of addressing these changes, including using lubricants or hormone therapy to enhance comfort and pleasure. She also discusses the impact of menopause on sexual desire and intimacy, encouraging individuals to seek medical advice and explore options for maintaining a fulfilling sex life during this stage of life. Dr. Malik provides practical advice on initiating conversations about sex with partners. She suggests creating a comfortable setting outside the bedroom, such as during a walk or drive, to discuss desires and preferences openly. She emphasizes the need for ongoing communication and vulnerability in expressing needs and exploring new experiences. By setting aside dedicated time for these conversations, individuals can strengthen their connection and enhance their sexual relationship. Common sexual insecurities, such as vaginal odor, body image concerns, and performance anxiety, are also addressed by Dr. Malik. She acknowledges that insecurities can vary with age and experience, highlighting the importance of self-exploration and acceptance. She encourages individuals to embrace their bodies 
communicate openly with partners, and seek professional guidance if insecurities impact their sexual well-being. By addressing and overcoming insecurities, individuals can cultivate a more positive and fulfilling sexual experience. Dr. Malik explains that sexual health encompasses a wide range of factors, including physical, mental, and emotional well-being. She emphasizes the importance of being open and honest about one's sexual health and pleasure, as it can lead to a more fulfilling and satisfying life. She also discusses the stigma and shame often associated with sex, noting that lack of education and societal norms can contribute to these feelings. The conversation then shifts to the impact of mental health on one's sex life. Dr. Malik explains that mental health issues such as depression and anxiety can lead to sexual dysfunction, including low libido, erectile dysfunction, and difficulty achieving orgasm. She highlights the importance of addressing mental health concerns in order to improve one's sex life and overall well-being. Dr. Malik also touches on the topic of reclaiming sexual health after experiencing trauma. She emphasizes the need for individuals to feel safe and supported in order to address past traumas and move forward in their sexual health journey. She recommends seeking help from a mental health professional to work through trauma and create a safe space for exploring sexual health and pleasure. The discussion then turns to the impact of pornography on sexual expectations between partners. Dr. Malik explains that exposure to pornography can create unrealistic expectations about sex and performance. She emphasizes the importance of differentiating between fantasy and reality when it comes to sexual experiences and encourages open communication between partners to ensure a healthy and fulfilling sex life. Dr. Malik provides insights into erectile dysfunction, a common issue that many men face. She discusses the various causes of erectile dysfunction, including vascular issues, hormonal imbalances, nerve problems, and medication side effects. She highlights the importance of seeking medical evaluation for erectile dysfunction to identify any underlying health issues that may be contributing to the problem. Dr. Malik outlines the various treatment options available for erectile dysfunction, including medications such as PDE5 inhibitors, lifestyle changes, and psychological interventions. She emphasizes the role of testosterone in sexual health and discusses natural ways to boost testosterone levels, such as getting adequate sleep, exercising, and maintaining a healthy diet. She also mentions the importance of addressing psychological factors, such as performance anxiety, in the treatment of erectile dysfunction. In conclusion, Dr. Malik encourages listeners to prioritize their sexual health and pleasure. She emphasizes the importance of self-exploration, open communication, and seeking help from healthcare professionals when needed. She reminds individuals that they deserve to experience pleasure and should not be afraid to advocate for their sexual health and well-being.